guys, I'm back with another game review, and this time it's going to be something a little bit different. Ah! Oh crap! Hey, what game is this? Oh my god, no! Ah. It's it for the Atari! <laughs> if you're wondering why I'm actually freaking out about this game, well, I'll just let Ira Gamer do the talking. Ira Gamer? It was a huge blockbuster for its day, and just about everyone who watched it most likely remembers the emotional scene where E.T. almost ends up dying. Hell, even I get choked up every time I think of it. But besides the movie, there was another reason that would end up making fans cry even more, and that was the E.T. video game. Back in July of 1982, Atari struck a deal with Steven Spielberg to produce an E.T. video game. It may have seemed like a good idea at the time, but the demands of this partnership would end up causing the game to be labeled as the worst video game in history. First off, the Spielberg contract called for the game to be released by Christmas, which only gave programmers six weeks to complete the entire game. Secondly, they were also required to produce five million copies. Well, this just turned out to be a recipe for disaster, since Atari games usually needed three to four months to complete, and the normal production run was around 300,000 copies. Yikes. After releasing E.T., people were so confused and frustrated by the game that many people ended up returning them. Atari was now stuck with 5 million unsellable copies of E.T., so to clear out their inventory, they ended up taking the games out into the desert to bury them. It's Thank you. Oh. Hey, my name's. Thank you, Irate Gamer. Now, back to my review. You know, this was said, like, people believed that this was one of the major causes of the video game crash of 1983. And there was also another Atari game that was thought to believe th of that, which I'll show you in a minute. Now, let's pop this in and get it over with. Got the Atari here, and what game is this? Oh look! Pac-Man! Yeah, this was the other game I was talking about. This was also thought to be one of the major crashes, one of the major causes of the video game crash in 1983. Yeah, these two games were thought to be one of the major causes. Alright, enough of Pac-Man. Let's stick E.T. in. Oh god. This is E.T. for the Atari. Alright, let's get this crap over with. So here you are, E.T. Um, you're... You just got dropped off. Oh, no, wait, I know how to make the game easier. Um... Okay, I got one more hole to search. Oh crap, oh my god. And then you have blood and then you're back to the title screen. Oh whatever. I already told you what happens, so I don't need to do this anymore. Enough of this game. Based on my review, you wouldn't think that the game is that bad, but seriously, it kinda is. I mean, last night, believe me, it's worse. I mean, last night, um, I really hated the game, because I kept getting, like, like the first time I played it, I kept getting, like, stuck in holes and I kept getting frustrated. And also, when I finally got all the three telephone pieces last night, 
I um I couldn't get to the mothership. It's like yeah, I th I was waiting for the counter. I went where the mothership was supposed to be, but I think I was supposed to wait for the counter to run out. But it was too late to find out because I already died and I didn't want to go there again. So I think I probably know how to beat the game. But, you know, I'm just not going to show it to you since you already know. And, um, yeah. So I'm going to name this review Rah Uh, no. Okay, so anyway, that's the end of this game. Good riddance. This game really does deserve to be in the trash.